Welcome back to the OSM channel. Today's video is going to be about the garden project, mainly uh, site work that I've completed thus far and we still have a lot to do. Rain's coming tomorrow, some heavy rain tomorrow, so I got to get some mulch down and try and protect this topsoil. Anyway, this bank used to cut kind of from right here to where the tractor is, so I pushed all that soil back, leveled out a real nice pad here that gets good sunlight. This was really the only option because I live in an area that has a lot of mountains and finding a good flat corner in the yard that gets good sunlight, well, I just didn't have it, so I had to make it. Also, I have quite a few drains on the hillside over there. That's to help prevent water from uh, collecting along the foundation. And I have this corrugated drainage line. Now, initially this line ran kind of diagonally here because of course the bank kind of curved that way, but I'm redirecting this line to the left along the bank here. The main reason I'm doing that is to prevent anybody from running over it. Hopefully that'll preserve it, prevent it from cracking, but that's the main reason why I directed it to the left. Who knows, maybe I'll create some kind of water collection system eventually. But uh, I have something else I did here. I had some of these pine trees on another area of the yard, as opposed to going to the landscape supply center and uh, purchasing pine trees, I just transplanted these, threw a little fertilizer down. I plan to go get five yards of mulch. Main goal is gonna be to cover up this hill, this bank, this berm with mulch, and really wanna protect this because I think this is the most vulnerable to heavy rainfall, but put a little fertilizer down. Also, this will create some privacy between my property and the neighbor's property. So that's really the main purpose of this berm. And yeah, I'm getting excited here. Biggest challenge is gonna be backing the truck up, this little hill right here. Uh, it's hard to say, it might be like a 4% grade. It's a little muddy, a little wet. So let's go down to the landscape center, pick up five yards and try and back up this hill. All right, just left the recycling center, picked up five yards of mulch. I'd say we're hauling around 10,000 pounds right now. Had the exhaust brake set to automatic. I tell you, I absolutely love this truck. 10 speed automatic transmission, a lot of guys hate on it, but when you're towing, this truck really knows how to find the right gear. And in conjunction with that exhaust brake, it, it just does a phenomenal job at slowing itself down when you're going down a steep grade. And that's something you definitely don't get with the gas truck, so. And how does this truck do going up hills? Well, we're probably going up a 5% grade right now. I mean, I'm I'm touching the accelerator maybe a quarter of the way down. Turbo, around 15 PSI. There's just a tremendous amount of torque and power coming out of this truck. Of course, I baby the hell out of this thing, but just going up these hills is like nothing. All right, trying to back up this hill right now. Let's set her to too low. Shift in progress. I may have to turn on the diff lock, we'll see.
Well, I tried a few times, but it's just too slick. Keep losing traction, too much weight. For some strange reason, the trailer tire locked up here. I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully, uh, once I dump this load, everything will free up, but look at that, it just slid. Maybe that's part of our problem. I don't know. Let's just dump it right here and then we'll cart it up the hill, I guess. Well, I think I figured out why my trailer brakes got locked up. One of those sticks or something must have caught my breakaway wire and pulled it out. So, we'll just pop this back in here and get back to work. One of those days, so the ground is pitched too steep as to where the trailer will not dump. But I have the tractor, so I figure I'll just scoop directly out of the trailer, like so. Might be a good thing, actually. Just got the berm mulched. I know it's not perfectly level, but I ran out of dirt, so I wasn't really able to bring this side up any higher. It's close. I guess the next thing I'll do now is lay this drainage line back in here and this is pitched properly so all the water will flow out of that pipe but yeah it's gonna be a, a bit of a job getting that thing all squared away laying it in there I'll probably backfill the soil by hand try and make the slope on this hillside a bit more gradual yeah this is all hand work and then we'll, what I think I'm gonna do I'll probably do mulch see I used to have grass right here but I hate bringing the mower over here by the AC unit so I think we're gonna do away with the grass we'll probably bring mulch to the corner of this lattice deck post maybe we'll do a nice circle and then from here forward we'll be grass seed so the garden area over here all mulch I think that's what I'm gonna do about lunchtime too so drainage line is now buried i think i'll mulch this hillside because again i think that's most susceptible to wash out from heavy rainfall and then whatever's left we'll start working on the pad so i've scooped out probably two two and a half yards with the bucket of the tractor but top half of this pile still seems to be stuck in the trailer we're probably pitched at like a 40 degree angle oh this is frustrating no matter gotta keep working Felt like it wasn't going to have enough, so I went and picked up another two yards of mulch. You guys didn't miss anything exciting, but with another two yards here, we should be in pretty good shape. Again, I'm thinking we'll probably edge this in the springtime. Maybe a nice circle, half circle. Maybe some intricate design, not 100% sure yet. But if you're curious how much mulch is going for in my area, well, this is just regular brown hardwood. This is not dyed. This stuff's going for 10 bucks a yard. And I encourage everybody that has a lot of mulch to do to uh, look for their local landscape supply center. If you're used to buying that stuff by the bag, it gets very expensive very quickly. If you're able to buy it in bulk, maybe you have a dump trailer, friend with a dump trailer, or sometimes landscape supply centers will actually deliver this stuff for free. So keep an eye out for that. Just finish up for the day on this pad. May not look like much, but I'm pretty darn pleased with how everything came out. And I really like that I was able to transplant these wild pine trees onto this berm. Gave them a little bit of fertilizer, watered them for, I don't know, 15 minutes each. Going to get some heavy rainfall tomorrow, but I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of water. Looks like I'm going to have to straighten out some of these, but no big deal. Put the tallest one in the center there. So I think that looks really cool. And you know, this may not look like much right now, but once I finish casting all those raised concrete garden bed panels, we arrange them in here, build some fence, start growing a garden, maybe put a little white lattice around the beds. I don't know, I'll have to get a little bit creative with it. Maybe make a fancy gate, do some stonework. Not 100% sure. But once all that's done, it's totally gonna transform this space, so. This is just the start. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.